Hello, everyone. My name's Tyler. And I'm a sick beat. <laughs> this is uh, Ace Ventura Pet Detective. <laughs> Wiretap added to the court record. There's definitely something suspicious about this, this Miss May. This is a hot chicken sandwich. Hot chicken sandwich! Why would you have something like this in our hotel room? There's a story behind all of this. I know it. All right. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial. That's for sure. For Maya's sake, I'll get this to the... Uh, I'll get to this woman's bottom. I mean, you Wait. know what I mean. <laughs> oh, bellboy. Oh, that's you. Oh, bellboy. You still there? No. Uh -oh. Time to scram. <laughs> I look forward to tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court. To be continued. That would have been a good place to stop. Oh, yeah, yeah. We could have just, just waited in like five more seconds. Also, May is like dead, dead then. Oh yeah, she's she's real dead. Yeah, yeah, Mia, Mia's Mia's dead. Man, she she taught us the game and then just fucking got murked. <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. Oh. All right, who wants to be Edgeworth? You can be Edgeworth. He is—he's regal as fuck. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. <laughs> I don't know why I'm giving him Bender's voice. <laughs> <laughs> Better not show any signs of weakness today, or it'll be on me in an instant. Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder, and we have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin, then. If we may call our first witness, Your Honor. Sorry, I'm currently eating a chicken sandwich. <laughs> the prosecution called the chief officer of the scene, Detective Gumshoe. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Oh, I'm Gumshoe, too. Sir! My name's Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir. Let me use this floor map of the office to explain. The body was found by this the window. Penis here. is here! <laughs> <laughs> and the cause of death? Oh, wait. And the cause of death? Loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker found next to the body, sir. Uh, it was sorry, I've been drinking. Uh, <laughs> it was heavy enough to do, be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hand, sir. The court accepts the statue as evidence. They're still calling it a statue. <laughs> Now, detective. Hold on, I'm having to hold down this dais unless it floats away. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I had I had hard evidence she did it, sir. Hard hmm. evidence. Detective Gumshoe. Please testify to the court about this hard evidence. <laughs> it's my <laughs> penis! <laughs> as soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. Of the murder. 
Hmm, the very moment, you say. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Cross-examination what? I couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Whoosh. Heh! Hey, man, just threw something at me. What's this? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, when my sister couldn't find any contradictions in a witness's testimony, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. It worked lots of times. Huh. I should have expected Maya would know some of her sister's tricks. Alright, let's give it a try. Something the matter? No, Your Honor. I'd like to begin my cross-examination. As soon as the fo phone call came in, I rushed this scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness saw. Sorry, I'm. I... So, I was going to. What? I was going to press him on uh, how they saw. Uh, I'm going to press. Not. Hold on just one second. Y yeah? If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it, correct? Huh? Did, did I say that? Me? I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. About the, uh, What about the suspicious woman in Pink's claim was hard evidence? What? Miss May, Miss May isn't suspicious, and she sure isn't pink, pal. Well, well, I guess she is pink. That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, Detective? Um. Guess mm. pressing may have its advantages. Mm, yes. Shit. <laughs> Sorry, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. There was nothing. There was something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Dan, is there a toothpick over there I can snatch? You're a very well detective. Let's hear your testimony again. Revised testimony. Hard evidence. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of. Uh, I <laughs> After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on the piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Lab test results showed that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found in the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim, the victim wrote the killer's name. I know what to press him on. How do you like that? That's my hard evidence. Oh, my penis. Hmm. Before we begin cross-examination, I have a question for you, detective. Your Honor? Why didn't you testify about this vital piece of evidence the first time? Uh, eh, I know. I'm real embarrassed I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. All right, so what I brought up before, which was mm -hmm. she died instantly. Yeah. Objection! Detective Gumshoe, there's one thing I want to clear. Uh, uh, there's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You, say, <laughs> you say that the victim Mia Fey wrote this note. That she was accusing the defendant Maya Fey, right? That's really what you're saying. What? This isn't one of those lawyer tricks now, was it? Of course she wrote it. Who else could have? You have it backwards, detective. 
Backwards? The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. She died immediately. But... No butting your way out of this one, detective. Rubble, 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 rubble. <laughs> order! Order! The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have had the time to write anything down. Objection. Mr. Wright. I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? W when? The day of the murder. It was the day of the murder, wasn't it? It was the day after the murder. The prosecution's point being... <laughs> that autopsy report is outdated, Your Honor. What? A second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. Those bitches. Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object. But... There's a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I received these results this morning. No way! Your Honor, it's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write Maya. It was a red herring. It was an easy piece of evidence. That is all. I see. Damn you, Edgeworth. Should have known you'd have something up your sleeve. <laughs> Why, Mr. Wright? You look shocked. Something you want to say? I'm a sham! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, I've heard there's nothing you won't do to get your verdict. What reason could you possibly have to request a second autopsy report? Mr. Mr. Wright, the defense will refrain from personal attacks and the prosecution. No matter, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, say what you will. The evidence in this report is undeniable. Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Uh, understood. The court accepts the evidence. Well, Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes. I bid you adieu. Damn, this isn't good. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. Let the witness, Miss April May, take the stand. Basically, what part of her is innocent? Witness, oh my your God, name, please. the music. <laughs> April May, at your service. My God, the jingle. <laughs> Chick is like 90% legs. Order. An introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd. The or in my pants. <laughs> the witness refrained from wink Aww, winking. winking. Yes, and winking. your honor. This is not good. She's already captured the heart of every man in this courtroom. Tell us. Where were you on the night of right. September 5th when Edge the murder worth. occurred? What are you doing? What? <laughs> Moving your big toe. <laughs> Move your big toe. Um, gee, I was like, in my hotel room? <laughs> I checked in right after lunch. Yeah. <laughs> so, I already noticed something a while ago, and I want to know if y'all noticed it too. <laughs> so the body was right there, right? In the middle. Notice how there's a cone of vision here? Uh-huh. Why is there a specific cone of vision here? I have a feeling something's going to be said about where things are placed in this room. Yeah. I just, I saw, I saw the cone and I was like... Well, like, I mean, we already, we have shards of glass from, like, a, a lamp that got knocked over. How did it get knocked over? Yeah. You know? And this hotel is directly across from the Faye & Co. law office? Mm -hmm. That's right, big boy. <laughs> Please testify to the court about what you saw. Witness testimony. Witnesses account. It was like 
Nine at night. I looked out the window, you know. Oh my god! And then, oh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Then the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. But that girl, she caught up to her and, and she hit her. Then the woman with the long hair, she kind of slumped. The end. That's all I saw. Every little bitsy witsy. <laughs> Speaking of, I'm Chris. I'm Tyler. Chris, stop. See you guys next time.